Hello YouTubers and YouTubettes. So today I'm going to be separating tetrahydrofuran and acetone. And so what you see here, the name of this pro or the maker of this product's name would rhyme with Goaty. <laughs> um, and so anyways, I bought this from Home Depot and uh, the main ingredient on it is tetrahydrofuran. Second is acetone and um, that, that's basically everything that's in this um, and then there's uh, polyvinyl chloride also I believe but um, so I took this put it in my distillation apparatus and distilled it and so now I'll show you where I'm at I've got it in my boiling flask and I've got it under max vacuum which is minus 28 and uh, it's actually separating these two, which um, tetrahydrofuran and acetone together make a, mini a minimum azeotrope. Which, what a minimum azeotrope is, is when you combine two things and their boiling points combined is lower than either ones alone. And so, what I mean by that is pretend that tetrahydrofuran's boiling point is 150 and um, acetones is 160 well when they're combined they're 130 and so that's what a minimum azeotrope is um, so anyways I'll go over to my distillation apparatus now alright so you can see I've got a flame down there it's little little small as I can get it and just as soon as it starts bubbling a little bit I turn the flame off and so I got a double um, the big distillation apparatus and then that's down to my distillation or my uh, aspirator and um, so uh, yeah this is all I'm doing and so what basically once it gets to boiling which only takes a little bit of heat um, I turn it off which I negative 28 it's at about 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 117 I don't really trust my digital um, thing because it says it's 120 or whatever and I put my hand on it and it's just barely lukewarm yeah so anyways I'll wait till this starts bubbling and then I'll show you what I'm doing here so you kind of see the color I've got there. Um, this is what the green that's in here is the what came out of that other uh, that can. And um, so I, I'm still trying to figure out how to get that out of there without busting that uh, boiling flask and not putting the tetrahydrofuran back in there to dissolve it. <laughs> So, I don't really have a good test, so just started bubbling over here. Let's see. Um, I don't really have a good test to test tetrahydrofuran, but so acetone and tetrahydrofuran have completely different smells. Acetone obviously smells like acetone, and tetrahydrofuran smells like uh, ether. And so, um, in that little boiling flask it you can tell that there's not any acetone in it just by its smell but you can see I mean I've got no boiling going on here at all at this point and it's still just dripping away from the vacuum and so just by manipulating these two back and forth which is kind of a pain in the butt but it works just like that and it is working good Anyways, guys, till the next one. Glad I was able to show this all to you. This is the only video of this on the internet, as far as I know. There, I got it. Just perfect. Um, let's see. Yeah. 
So in the top right there, I'm at 84 degrees, 73, 63, 59, and 60. And you can see it's dripping away and not boiling. And I got a tiny flame down there. And just at about just a little over 80 degrees. So that's the perfect key for it, that negative 28 vacuum. Anyways, till next time.